this is actually one of the first times that I'll address this audience. I joined Alcon uh, after a, a 10 year career with Boston Scientific. Uh, I love innovation, so I spent the majority of my career building companies. Uh, one of the companies was acquired by Medtronic, and today it's the largest spinal re reconstructive company in the world, Sophomore Danic. And then I built a neurostimulation company with Al Mann. Um, to build a neurostimulation company that does spinal cord stimulation and deep brain stimulation. To come into ophthalmology is like to come into a family, and I've been very impressed over the course of the last year how tight this, this industry is. It's impressive. It's also impressive as to how sophisticated uh, the optical system is, and I, uh, I tell you the presentations this morning, uh, what you're working on is incredibly important to, to Alcon. What I did want to talk about is actually the evolution, right? We started with something that was about safety and efficacy, and we've moved now to efficiency. Can we do more throughput? Can we uh, treat more patients? And now we're getting into this next level, which is really around refractive outcomes, and can we actually nail what the patients expect every day? And I think it's interesting, as we've had this conversation, um, our patients at the center of the conversation right? If we think about penetrating the premium channel, we really need to be talking about what is the patient expectation and how involved are they going to be in their own therapy? Um, is innovation all that we need to talk about to them or do we need to talk about other things with them as well? And then can they live independently? Can they live with the freedom without glasses? I'm always impressed by the number of folks in this audience who wear glasses. Some of them are on the stage. And, you know, we're, we're looking for refractive outcomes, right? Everybody is, but we're, we're still a little bit fearful that we may not get exactly what we expect. So what do companies need to do? Well, at Alcon, obviously, we continue to innovate internally and externally. We've made a number of short-term uh, investments. Last year, we launched a few products over in Europe, uh, Panoptics, which is a, a trifocal device where we actually took a license from the University of Arizona and we leveraged that into a product and we're getting phenomenal results with that device. We're simplifying the procedure with uh, inserters and we've launched that in the United States. We're looking at EDF technologies as we go forward and some next generation platforms. And obviously, um, Barry Cheskin spoke a little bit about our relationship that we're building with his organization at Power Vision, we have a relationship with Clarivista and other startup companies. So, you know, Alcon is, is actively listening to the market. We're actively working with partners who are pushing the scientific boundaries of this industry. And we know that we can uh, develop things internally, but we're also going to need to partner with folks externally. There are a number of you who are sitting in this audience and uh, who've made a lot of money working with Alcon. Uh, if you look across our platforms, we've acquired a number of these technologies through the startups. And uh, the relationship that we've had is has been one that's really fascinating. Uh, the, the development of these technologies allowed us to advance into diagnostics, interoperative uh, aberometry. Tom, thanks for that. AMO, uh, you now have to figure out how to compete with me uh, on that side. We've had lasers that have been developed. Now it's about how do we bring it together so it's simple to use for the clinician so that they get what they want from the product. And Sabo Leone, who spoke before me, talked about how we're going to integrate the suite to make it simple to use. It's taking the complex and making it simple. The next phase of this really is how do we bring technologies together or procedures together, our acquisition of Transcend, is an example of uh, a joint procedure where we're going to be doing surgical glaucoma management while we're doing an interocular lens exchange. I believe there's a place for drug delivery here. I believe there's uh, additional uh, minimization of trauma to the eye that we need to be doing as we move forward, both in the anterior and the posterior uh, portion of the eye. And so as we look forward as Alcon, I'm going to ask my organization internally to be focused on integration and simplification and driving 
ease of use. We're going to still be looking to the landscape that's uh, the, the startup environment to help us continue to drive the scientific innovation. And obviously, it's a partnership with our physicians and even our competitors to work hard uh, to, to develop things like patient reported outcome tools and other things that'll help us advance the science of this industry. So I'd like to thank everybody for inviting me to speak and I look forward to meeting you. Thank you very much.